So in this video, I'm going to talk specifically about how we route Dante mixes back into vMix and then off to our remote callers. This is a follow-up to the video that I did previously about how to route out of vMix into Dante, so I suggest that you have a look at that one first. So let's get straight into it and show you what we've got. Uh, we have four vMix callers coming in actively at the moment. You can see that. Just got four in. That's enough for us to demonstrate this uh, so you can get some levels. Obviously, we're going to show it all with eight callers as far as how we can route back. Uh, I have my main vMix cut machine, which is taking those NDI feeds in, and I have my mixer here. So let's get started. There's a couple of things we need to know, and obviously a lot of the, you guys have pointed this out, is that we have used, when we did the video previously, our buses A, B, C, and D to route out to uh, Dante Network, which means that we've only got E, F, and G back to, uh, to route audio back to our VMIX cores. Now, if we want to do individual mixes back to each individual caller up to eight, we can't do it that way. Um, so to me, that's not normally a problem. I tend to only really ever need two mixes. I use one is a mix for a host and another mix which goes out to all the guests. And if we were to do that, we would be doing this. We would have vMix, let's say vMix one, no, call of vMix caller one here is our host and I would say they are receiving, let's in this instance say they're receiving bus A and then I would say all my other callers are receiving bus B. Let's put more to bus B just because we can. So we're only using two buses in this instance. Now what that means is obviously Bus A is going to our caller one, which is our host, and that requires a mix coming in from uh, Dante. Uh, let's flick that back to here. Actually, I'll just do two shot here. Um, that would require a mix that would be not the caller, but all of the, not the host, sorry, but all of the caller feeds. Um, so she can, or he can hear all of these caller feeds. And then our other mix would be totally different because I can't do this in this instance. I can't say, oh, well, I just want them to hear all of these. I can't turn these up because obviously I'm then sending themselves back to themselves. We've bypassed the mix minus that you get with vMix call. So we would have to do things differently. What we do for our other guests when we are working this way with only two buses that we would send to our guests, our host, anything else they need to hear. Might be a bit of VT, might be a bit of me. That would come in, but obviously not themselves. And we would route back onto here all the callers to bus B as well. So all our guests, guests two to eight, are routed to bus B, and then our mix, which has everything other than our vMix callers 2 to 8, also can go to bus B. So that's a simple way of doing it when you just want two mixes, uh, and it's the common way that I would do it. It works fine, the callers can always hear themselves. To me, there's usually not much need to be able to talk directly to individual callers. Um, as we go. Now, when you're doing green rooms and things like that, that's totally different. You could still do it the way you did it prior to um, using Dante. You could still have a, another feed coming into your vMix, uh, which could have a mic, and then you could have a bus switch that goes on that takes them out of bus B to, say, bus C, and uh, use that uh, as a, a talk through to them, and then you're talking on bus C. I'm sure you all understand how that's done. If you don't, I can go through that with you on another video. However, there is a way when you're running it uh, the way I'm running it that we can, let's switch over to me, there is a way that we can have eight individual mix minus feeds going to your vMix callers 
so you have complete control about what each individual caller hears. All going through your desk, therefore you've got all the EQs and shaping of the sound you want from your desk back to your callers. So let's have a quick look at that. Cutting on, as you can see here, I have all my callers coming in via NDI with their appropriate audio levels showing on here. Um, but you will notice that I am now routing all this audio, you see it's activated here, out to Dante via this machine. Um, so all my Dante sources are now coming from this machine and not the call machine. What this allows us to do is route all our calls. So as before, as you can see, callers uh, 1 and 2 are going out on bus A, 3 and 4 on bus B, 5 and 6 on bus C, 7 and 8 on bus D. So I've used four of my buses up on here, which is fine. Uh, and that's exactly the same as we did before when we talked about in our previous video. That is then, of course, coming and showing into my mixer. So obviously I've only got four calls going at the moment, but you can see caller one, two, three, and four are now coming into my mixer here. Once everything of course is into our mixer, we can set up whatever bus mixes we want. So we want to set up eight, five, six, seven, eight, eight mixes. Uh, one for each of our eight callers. And I've done that here. If you notice here on the side, I've got buses, caller one feed, caller two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight buses are set up. And we can now mix these as much as we want. We obviously need to set them up as mix minuses. So mix minus being everything other than themselves. So caller one is here, and they will want to obviously not hear caller one, but they want to hear caller two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. They may want to hear um, our Skype, not our Skype, let's say our Zoom coming in from our, let's just hit the test speaker, there we go our caller coming in from here as you can see some level and they might want a bit of VT as well let's just switch that on there we go and um, they might want a bit of me that's coming up here and that is what caller one here is caller two of course is going to be exactly the same process the difference being you must make sure that caller two does not go back to itself um, on this mixer if you wanted to make sure I could just switch that off there Let's go back to caller one. I could switch that off there. Even if the fader goes up, it won't. If you accidentally put this fader up, they won't be hearing themselves. So you set up all these eight mixes. So they definitely want to be able to hear these. Caller four, just want to hear caller four. So let's turn that down. Just want to hear caller five. Caller five, doesn't want to hear caller five. Caller six, doesn't want to hear caller six, and so on. It's just plain mixing the feeds that you want to hear. You get the idea. So we've created these buses here, um, and these buses are being presented on the Dante network um, via the X32's Dante card. And then all we need to do now is pull those in to our vMix session. So here we go. This is our original vMix call. So if you remember, these are not sending out anymore. They are only receiving the inputs coming from our mixer. Um, so let's have a look what we've done. We have effectively added eight channels which correspond to the eight buses. So here we go. Click this exactly as we would do before. We go Dante sound card, choose the one we want. Bus, I think it's input one that we're using. There we go. So that's going to be input one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then I have routed each of those to a bus. So you can see here, caller one feed coming in is going to bus A, caller two feed is going to bus B, caller feed is going to bus C, caller D to bus D, caller five, and so on. So we have used up seven buses. Hold on, we have eight callers. Well, we also, because we're only using this for dealing with calls, we don't need a master bus. So caller eight, if we have a listen to look at caller eight, sorry, have, here we go. You'll notice that they are listening, and let's change that to caller eight for master, sorry. So they are now listening to master. So caller one, we want listening to A. Caller two, we want listening to B. Caller three, C. Let's move that to C. Caller four, D. Caller five, E, six, 
f7, you can see where we're going with this, g, and then call it 8 in this case, master. Now we have eight individual mixed feeds going back to our callers. So let's have a look at that. And uh, let's have a look at caller one feed. As you can see, caller one feed, which is currently this one here, highlighted in orange on the right hand side, uh, is getting no audio level. And uh, let's turn me up. Here we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, it's coming in on that one. So, and again, we can do that with, let's go, caller eight feed. So caller eight feed, you can see, is getting something at the moment, and that is getting me. If I turn that down, call it eight, just so you can see, is this one here. As I turn this down, there you go, no level. Turn it up, check, check, check. And if you also look at the buses on the right-hand side, caller eight is going to master. So as you can see, the master is now going up and down as I'm talking on there. As I turn that down, you'll see that it is no longer showing, so therefore nothing's going out the master. Again, if you have a look at A just here, and if I turn myself up to caller one feed, you'll see it's going out bus a. So that's one way of getting eight individual mixes to eight individual vmix calls uh, when using a Dante network. Hopefully that has been of use to you. If you've got any questions, please ask. I'll gladly answer them if I can. And please subscribe as I will be throwing out more videos over the next coming days and weeks. Thanks very much for watching.